Well, a turning point today amid the COVID-19 pandemic, Chicago Public High School students returning to class for the first time in more than a year. Let's go to WGN's Jenna Barnes. She's live at Walter Payton College Prep. Jenna, do we know just how many students are choosing to stay home? Well, here at Walter Payton, less than a third of students plan to stay home. District-wide, that number is about two-thirds, but C CPS still calls this first day back a success. This is an important day for us. Mayor Lori Lightfoot and CPS CEO Janice Jackson welcoming students back to Walter Payton College Prep for the first time in 13 months. We experienced teenagers in, in full bloom, um, but um, certainly I think there's a buzz and energy um, in the building. The first day in class on a hybrid schedule with just two months left in the school year. I'm so happy. I think I'm the happiest I've been in a long time today. Sunday, the Chicago Teachers Union voted 83% to approve the agreement with Chicago Public Schools and begin in-person learning for high schools. Included in that agreement is a vaccine program for students and their families. Union President Jesse Sharkey calling it the first of its kind in the country. We're going to celebrate what happened today. We got our kids back in school. Our kids are happy to be back in school and it is one step along a long process that will end with all of our kids having access to in-person instruction five days a week. Walter Payton and Lane Tech both expected most of their students to return to the classroom. I remember the first week nobody thought it was going to last this long and then you know, a year later, here we are. I'm looking forward to probably seeing my friends and probably actually learning something now, yeah. South and West Side high schools, which serve some of the communities hardest hit by COVID-19, expected fewer students to return. Jackson says addressing students' mental health and achievement gaps are among the top priorities for what remains of this school year and heading into the fall. My goal is to have every kid back in school full time. I want to return to normal, whatever that new normal is. CPS expected about 26,000 high schoolers to come back this week, but they've not yet released official attendance numbers. We'll let you know as soon as we get them. For now, we're live on the near north side. Jenna Barnes, WGN News.